guys, so I'm just stood outside William Young Pianos. It's Friday the 12th of January. And yeah, we've been invited down, Richard and myself, to come and have a look at their workshop. And yeah, it's very, very cool. I'll show you the inside now. Some very, very cool pianos. And an also an awesome workshop where they renovate pianos as well. So I'll be doing some playing on them. But I'll take you inside now. So this is the piano side of the building. <laughs> That's Richard there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got loads of different makes of pianos, which they've done up, ready for sale. And then around this side is where they do the do the magic and renovate the piano. As you can see here, there's a couple of works in progress. So yeah, very cool. So you'll see some, some more footage from today shortly. How you doing, Matt? Yeah, good. Nice Thank step. you for inviting me down. Yeah, no problem. Um, before you start playing, I'll just show you a bit about what we do. Yes, please, yeah. We've got a, a bluthner in at the moment, uh, a Beck side over there, yeah. and a Steinway on its side there. All sort of different stages, but um, Basically, uh, what's happened here, the frame's come out, we've destrung it, the frame's come out, uh, and we're just uh, sorting out the soundboard. Uh, the music, uh, the breast plank is situated there under the frame, and that will be made to pattern and fitted. Okay. And then um, this soundboard will be routed out and shim set in on the, on the splits that you can see okay. uh, to make it um, nice and uniform. And, and fix it up. So yeah, as you can see, you know, this is as it came in. It was this um, <clears throat> piano has collected a lot of dust over time, and it was all black, and you couldn't see uh, through all the, the grayness and the dust. And then we cleaned it off, and see there are problems here yep. in the soundboard. So uh, we we route out the the soundboard, set in the shims, and then it'll be refinished right. and uh, ready for it to be restrung. And how long would that usually take? Uh, it takes uh, three or four days right. to, to work on it and get it absolutely right. So Matt, we've got here um, an 1896 Model A Steinway. Brilliant. It's on its side, but you can see it's one that we've uh, fixed the soundboard on, yep. uh, which will happen uh, when it came in. It was in probably worse condition than the one we've just seen. Right. Uh, but you can see it's all been refinished. You can see where we set in the shims. Yep. It's all got a lovely convex uh, shape to it, right. bridges have all been cleaned yeah, it looks very nice. <clears throat> and we've set in a, um, uh, a new rest plank which is a, a bull duck sort of rock maple wood and this is what sits underneath the frame okay. uh, which uh, the tuning pins are set into and help stabilise the tuning, right, okay. keep, keep the piano in tune. And then we have the frame here which sits on top Again, this has been all re refinished, yep. and the, all the letters with a, a, a fly leg brush put on, and that would be bolted on okay. on top of that, and then the strings uh, are stretched across the frame, and the frame is what takes the tension right. of all the strings. Okay, right, I see. Yeah. So it's a very long process. There's quite a bit to it. A lot of detail, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, Matt. So this this is uh, as well as doing the internals uh, in it of a piano. Then they're obviously a piece of furniture as well. Yeah. And we, we do all the case work. Uh, this is come in and it's sort of halfway being stripped. Right. We basically, strip the old polish off because it was so worn and, and tatty looking. Yeah. And it will take it back to the wood, and then we'll stain it up, and it'll be refinished. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is a model, what is this, a model B Beckstein. Right. So is that the first thing you do, or is that the last thing you do? Uh, it depends on, it tends to be the last thing you right. do. Okay. Uh, but uh, the different, it depends on the schedule really of the yeah. workshop. Okay. Um, and so what are the kind of clients that you have who come in? Is it people who uh, own them and give them away? We have uh, lots of sort of family heirlooms and pianos that have been in families, right. uh, musicians yep. and uh, all, all, all forms of customers really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you sell the pianos as well? We sell them as well, okay. yeah. Uh, mainly uh, uh, 
with Steinway Vex9 Gleithner. Yeah. Um, Yamaha's obviously, everybody likes the, the, the newer Yamaha's. Absolutely. And, um, but you know, a lot of the older, lesser known makes as well. Right which are uh, sort of not so well known, but they still make really lovely instruments. Right, okay. So. Lovely. Well, yeah, thank you very much for inviting me down. Thanks for coming. It's a great process to see. Yeah. From the, uh, from the start to the finish. Yes, yeah, it's, it's amazing. No problem. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>
learning covers today. I've also been finishing writing some of the tracks for my second album of original organ music. So I'll show you some clips of that now. So I've just been finishing those off and we'll be recording that second volume of tracks over the next few days, probably over the next week or two. So that'll be available shortly, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, it's getting pretty dark in here now, so I'll probably pack up and head off. It's been a good day of recording. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's been a busy week, lots of travelling and piano stuff, organ stuff, but it's been good. Next week I've got another busy week. I've got a trip to London, which I'll take you along for. And yeah, just more album stuff, getting that recorded and getting that prepared. But yeah, I've got a big performance coming up in London. Obviously, I can't say anything yet, but yeah, I'll take you along to as much of that as I can. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated in due course, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good weekend.